no all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and uh, i'm delighted once again to have another amazing guest in my channel and we have been talking from almost one hour i guess on nakshatras and he is the nakshatra specialist his name is aman bedi ji <laughs> <laughs> welcome to exotic astrology it's such a great fortune to have you here and uh, what else so today's topic is uh, 11 right it's not 10 i guess 11 yes 11 nakshatra remedies is that okay <laughs> yes yeah remedies techniques activation techniques yes yes everything to do with nakshatras how to uh, get tune with the nakshatras how to activate how to see how to learn including some mantras and some details about so many other things i was amazed when you were showing the slide so uh, just uh, to start uh, we met first time december last year i guess yes december before the new year eve yes. yeah december uh, christmas i was there in berlin and his uh, brother he's uh, manan bedi he has a very nice restaurant in berlin the name of the restaurant is yogi house so if you go sometimes please visit yogi house and uh, i stayed there for 3 4 days i would say 3 days yeah 3, three days, days i guess and on 28th i went to passau south germany Passau's. for a spiritual yeah. retreat and we had the most amazing discussions on nakshatras and so many topics my god it's like <laughs> so thank welcome you. to exotic astrology and the stage is all yours thank you thank you baba ji ji and i want to start uh by telling your audience that uh, was a great three day memory i have from the new year if especially from the new year if uh, when we met last year in berlin and um, i want to tell your audience even uh, i'm pretty sure they know you very well by now and uh, how humble the thing which attracted me the most was how humble and how simple you are as a human being so so i was uh, totally amazed and i will never forget the mythology which we discussed uh, uh in that period uh, the shlokas which you shared with me the personal shlokas which you shared with me from the bhagavad gita so it's it's quite amazing and uh, i cannot forget the three days i have spent with you and i look forward uh, to see you again and uh, and i really look forward for this collaboration so thank you for giving me this opportunity it's a it's a it's a very big honor yeah so thank you for your kind words <laughs> and uh, i i still remember you know it was like uh, it was not more of it was an astrological discussion which we had but it was like you know it was like a overall scriptural stuff there were lots of stories which were also involved and i still remember uh, how you were sharing your experience particularly about every nakshatra yes so what's there on the slides today please show and, and, the audience. it also reminded me that um, uh, it was more of a astro observations along with the relaxation yes yes it reminded me of purva falguni nakshatra and on that day we uh, we met ah. it was a purva falguni day <laughs> <laughs> yes and somebody also has poor of <laughs> yes 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 so today um, right I, yes absolutely it was a beautiful experience and the observation which we did uh, together on that day yes and the opposite nakshatra also it was quite amazing which we yeah did. and uh, you you also have a channel if i am right you yes, have opened yes, a channel right? i have not posted not even a single video uh, okay. you posted a tirupati video if i am right tirupati ji because i wanted to start my channel on a certain date a certain nakshatra fantastic on akshay tritiya and i thought as i um, had not posted any video so why not to start with lord vishnu himself <laughs> so today um, and uh, sorry to interrupt you you also do consultations right so you also have a website yes sir Yes, okay sir. so i will pin the description in the description the link of his website and his channel where he will upload amazing videos in the future so thank you thank please you. go and subscribe to it and inspire him to make more videos and he is a master of nakshatras and no, today no, today you. the pan the pandora's box will be open today all right oh. stay tuned thank you, thank you sir <laughs> um 
So today uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, techniques or how to activate certain nakshatras which we can on a daily basis in our daily life. And these are very basic, very simple techniques and which we can use as a remedial uh, basis also. So I will just share um, my screen. So can you see my screen now? Yes, I can see everything. <laughs> okay. So I will just start with the disclaimer that um, whatever we're going to discuss today, it is based on my observations and my experience from the past few years, I would say, especially from the past few years, where I have been testing certain techniques and observing um, on the basis of nakshatras and uh, on the images which we are using, they are all royalty free, so we don't have to worry about that. And this is your website, right? Amanbediastrology.com. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So, uh, just like I mentioned, how to activate certain nakshatras around you with simple basic techniques. Because why I'm using the basic techniques? Because uh, I have seen people mostly talk about the very advanced level. And I want to connect with the with more audience of yours where even they don't have the advanced or the medium knowledge, uh, they can still uh, get to know what I'm talking about on the basic level. And these are very simple techniques and uh, people with uh, simple basic knowledge also can grab uh, these uh, remedial measures also very easily. So the first thing in order to activate any nakshatra in your chart uh, is every nakshatra comes with a nakshatra uh, deity. So in order to increase the growth of those attributes, in order to activate that, we can simply worship that deity. So what I mean with that, so for example, Purva Bhadrapada is a nakshatra ruled by Jupiter. So the deity for that is Rudra, which is Aja Ekapada, one of the form of Rudra. So simply by worshipping the deity, we can enhance that nakshatra quality in our chart or on a general uh, basis also. And every nakshatra uh, comes with a spe specific direction. So to, in order to enhance more uh, that this technique, as we know, the Ajayakapara stand on one leg. Um, so if you chant uh, or if you do the worship or if you do the dhyana, meditate, of this deity on one leg facing a specific uh, direction, it will definitely activate that nakshatra for you. As simple it is. So you don't need to do hardcore remedies. This is a very simple remedy I have learned from my teachers. So, which is good for the health also because you are including the yoga part in it. And um, meditation, you always talk about in your channel that how important it is uh, especially in today's mundane world, uh, uh, the meditation, one has to do it. Even if they can spare few minutes, they can have a, a greater results in their life. So this is a very beautiful technique. Uh, and here I'm just using the example of Kurva Bhadrapada. You can talk, uh, uh, if you take any other nakshatra, uh, it will have the same impact. You just know, uh, you should know the basic technique, how to activate them. Simple as that. So uh, this is one of the techniques. The second technique would be that every nakshatra, as we know, there are 27 nakshatras. Every nakshatra comes with a symbol. Some of them have one symbol. Some of them have multiple symbols. So for example, for Kritika nakshatra, one of the symbol is the sharp knife or the any sharp object. So suppose if you need to meditate, if you like doing the meditation, if you have, if you do the meditation with having a sharp object or the sharp knife uh, around you during that meditation, basically what you're doing is you're activating that nakshatra. Or if you can't do the meditation, I know some people have the problem in doing the concentration while doing the meditation. In 
even by having a simple pocket knife of swiss gear company there are a lot there are a lot of companies it's it's like you are having activating the uh, kritika nakshatra uh, energy activation around you very simple so the second example i have used in this slide is bharani bharani does not need any introduction the symbol for that one of the symbol of that nakshatra is yoni and we all know especially you belong to that belt you belong to that state where we have this one of the most important shakti peet is that shakti peet right baba yes, ji correct correct so uh, kamakhya devi uh, is associated with yoni and this is one of the pictures from that temple so simply just by visiting that temple or if you cannot visit you are a western audience you cannot uh, not everyone can visit kamakhya devi just like that so even by having a dhyan or by uh, while meditating just having a picture of kamakhya mata or goddess kamakhya or just having a portrait of that um, goddess in your mind you are basically activating the bharni uh, energy around you and the another example of bharni would be the pyramid pyramids are egypt pyramids mummies they are all connected with bharni so even simply having a pyramid a very small pyramid around you it is one of the symbols of bharni nakshatra and one thing i would like to add here is uh, like last time when i met uh, nitin kashyap ji in delhi right so he was telling me that uh, ken rao sir the great ken rao he he always says that whoever is interested in astrology or they are learning or they are in the beginning stages or they are advanced they must visit the kamakhya temple because the kamakhya temple is the place where the yoni of devi sati that fell yes astrology yes. is what basically it is a study of karma right karma is like you get into another yoni of somebody absolutely that's how that's how you take birth and you know that's how uh, the cycle continues so whoever is interested must visit the kamakhya temple and it's in guwahati assam india and yes. currently there's the famous ambubasi mela which is going on it's like a big mm. celebration okay it's like a mini kumbh mela kind of you know there are thousands and thousands and thousands of sadhus they stay there amazing place it is and this festival is specifically related to uh to the yoni i mean it's they say that uh, she is in her periods they say like this all right yes, yes. So, and i think it is only open for 3 days around that time Uh, yeah, there, I, there is some ritual or tradition behind it right yeah and there's like so much stuff which we can discuss maybe we'll make a video on it some day oh, but yes. Uh, yes, that would be nice. for anybody who is interested in astrology you know they must visit the kamakhya temple of course okay, even if once and, in their life they can visit that's great yes and also uh, see uh, bharni is very prominent related to occult and kamakhya and also kamakhya devi what i have uh, heard and what i have uh, learned is is one of those temples which is very famous for tantra right black magic so it is a very powerful source of energy so i can definitely resonate what you are saying in fact um, where my home is in guwahati from right. there if you travel 5 kilometers there is a place called uh, chandrapur Chandrapur. Okay. Inside Chandrapur, in that vicinity, there's a place called Mayan. Mayan, and I think that that's the Vatican of black magic. Yes. So yes. There and this, when I went to Mayan 15, 20 years back, I mean, I always go there whenever I go. 20 years back, when I when I was very small, then somebody told my father that just recently, just for some past, you know, not very far, just recent past, right. there were some people. who could transform human beings into sheep just by chanting some mantras they could do it yeah. and i can totally believe they that. could transform the sheep into human beings again just wow. some days in the past wow 
so no wonder you have the abundance of occult knowledge as you belong to a such a very powerful <laughs> state i must say <laughs> so this was amazing and um, yeah i would request you uh, as as your audience that you should make a separate video on kamakhya devi please yes, yes. and it's connected to this. narakasura and you know like lord krishna and uh, so many there's like so much to yes, know sir. there thank you thank you so um the third technique would be by having by serving or by keeping simply a picture of a bird related to a particular nakshatra will activate that nakshatra for you so you can do it for the activation you can do it as a remedy also especially when you know that these are the nakshatras which are blocking your way this is the simplest technique just by having a, a picture of of that nakshatra so here i have taken the example of rohini so the white owl is uh, related to that nakshatra so simply by having that portrait of white owl you are activating the rohini energy around you there are many other ways this is one of the ways uh, uh, which we are talking about yeah in fact i was telling you regarding this that last yes. year akshay tritya 2018 right uh, my mother called me in the morning and she said that uh, i have suddenly seen a white owl you know in the morning at around 5 am 5:30 right and then i told later that maybe you get some good news you know financially because they say this white owl is a uh, good like and you know it's a good omen god is lakshmi they say yes yes and uh, then she told me in the evening that uh, my elder brother he became a consultant from a associate consultant so see, i was like at least something is there on cards see th- there you go so your statement is vouching for this uh, slide that how quickly the activation happens yes with this simple techniques and on akshay tritiya also moon is in taurus right moon is in taurus so yeah i was about to say moon is exalted at that time yes so uh, great great shape so either it will be in kritika or it will be in rohini and sometimes it can be in mrikshira so maybe it was in rohini that time when she saw so, so so if you talk about kritika also baba ji ji uh, uh the activation would happen in the peacock because oh, okay. the the bird symbol of that nakshatra is peacock oh, okay and, and this is the observation um uh, which i was doing as i belong to a sikh community every time i go to any sick temple this is what i have observed very recently i was not aware of that um uh, every time you go to the any sick temple you will always find beneath the whole, our holy book which is guru granth sahib ji you will always find the peacock so no wonder the moon gets exalted there okay so okay. maybe next time when you go to uh, any sick temple you you will see so these are the things um, um, which i really want your audience and, to try yeah and interestingly i just uh, remembered it, you know lord krishna always has a peacock feather in peacock his feather. yes yeah that that is how they you know once identified lord krishna that so because, that's why it's, because sometimes when krishna balram stands together it's very difficult to identify because both look very same you know of course balram ji's color is different he is more white and krishna is more of that you know blue bluish black cloud you know sham varan as they say yes, yes. but balram ji does not have peacock feather krishna will always have it yes so well, that's a great point and also uh, th- there is a Krishna's huge is also in rohini yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> so you see it's beautifully explained and also there is a the symbology whatever we see around these spiritual places or on the spiritual pictures it has a lot of meaning we just need to decipher it so just like uh, i got to know about the uh, rohini kritika their uh, bird nakshatras their animal nakshatras and the other simple uh, other symbols so if you observe the certain places with those nakshatras lot of clues you will get so it's it's yes. it's, it's amazing so the fourth uh, is every nakshatra is associated with a tree or with a plant and it is a very basic remedy that 
every nakshatra just like here i have uh, spoken about the swati nakshatra comes with the this arjuna plant so just by serving the water to that plant you are basically activating or you are enhancing the swati part or the swati sign into your natal chart regardless if you have that planet or not suppose if you have your sun moon or the focal or the mahadasha lord in swati nakshatra this is one of the basic remedies i would highly recommend to your audience very powerful and also uh, this what i have learned from my teacher also doing any kind of seva doing any kind of service to a tree basically you are um, uh, activating your jupiter also because trees and plants are the one of the symbology for the growth and expansion so so if you do this and add on um, with the intent of giving your 100% to a tree or to a plant you are basically also doing the remedy for your jupiter also wow nobody, uh, nobody these days everybody is focus on the other remedial measures but this is a very simple technique i have learned they are focused on rahu <laughs> yes <laughs> so nothing wrong with that too but it's the main intent of yours what you want to do how you want to activate what through what channel you want to activate that matters correct intention is the most and that's one of the uh, thing i have learned consistently from all of your videos your intent yes and regarding this uh, plant remedy there's one astrologer who had shared uh, one interesting thing regarding this with me long back around 2 3 years back right. he told me that uh, when you are sleeping in the night just before you sleep uh, take a glass of water and just put it below your uh, the bed or okay. you can put it on the side and as soon as you get up in the morning that is the first thing you should do go and give the water to some plant so yes. by that ex- he was explaining what happens is um, because he said rahu and moon you know moon rahu considers moon to be one of his biggest enemies sun and moon yes he said what happens the water is the moon right okay and then the night which you sleep you are in tamaguna that that time mode of ignorance yes. and night itself is rahu yes so that rahu is putting all his influence on this water okay. which is the moon all right wow. so by that he cannot pollute your mind right. because he is polluting the water right and then what you do in the morning just go and throw it Yes. So Rahu's effects can be nullified billion trillion times just yes. by this yes. one simple remedy. Yeah. Yeah. But there was one condition for this remedy. Okay. <laughs> you should sleep early. That was the condition, you know. You can, because oh. the more you sleep late in the night, the more Rahu will affect you. So that is yeah. why in the scriptures in the ancient times in India it was said that whenever the sun sets, Rahu is becoming more powerful. Yes. Now is the time you sleep, and when you are, the sun is rising. No sleeping. Get up. No sleeping. Yes. And and look at this, Oman Bhavji Ji. You are talking about Rahu, and here I have used the example of Swati Nakshatra, <laughs> <laughs> which is ruled by Rahu. Yes. Rahu so, is all over the place. Yes. So Rahu, yeah, yeah, I can totally relate to that. So this is, I find, uh, very one of the most powerful remedies, and um, uh, like especially what, and this is the another thing which I have learned through my teacher. Look at the tree plant which is associated with your moon nakshatra, your jan nakshatra, and also the current Saturn transit nakshatra. So other than the moon. saturn would be the next one because it's the most karmic planet that's the planet which show you the path so you really want to strengthen uh the plant associated with the current gochar of saturn 
so currently saturn is in purva shada right? purva shada so plant which is related to the purva shada you can also serve mm-hmm. that plant especially when you know the saturn is a, a functional malefic for your chart this is one of the ah, best remedies or it's badly placed or afflicted yes or or in the navatara scheme the, uh, it is one of the deadliest nakshatra for you no. or, oh, okay so you really want to strengthen that nakshatra i see so how you can do it just by simply just a simple thing just pouring a water if you cannot do it on lord shiva at least you can do it on a plant that i would suggest so let's move on to the next slide 